And uh, without that, half the time they're, they're grounded unintentionally and not necessarily safely. Hello and welcome to another season of our Ask the Expert series here at Boat How To. We're Nigel and Jan, and this time we're actually at the warehouse of the wholesale company for my online shop, where we want to show you some things in real life when it comes to boat electrical systems. But this is all about your questions, so let's start with the first one that we got this time. The question is, my boat has two isolated DC systems with a floating ground. It also has a lightning system, which terminates in a large grounding plate on the underside of the hull. As built, the DC main negative bus was connected to the lightning grounding plate. In my head, this means that the DC systems are no longer isolated. I am tempted to disconnect the DC ground from the lightning ground. What do you think? Well, Nigel, what do you think? So we have quite a lot going on here. I'm not sure I can remember all of those bits and pieces. But fundamentally, yes, if you've got a lightning grounding system, uh, for it to be effective, it's got to be connected to the water. And so if your lightning grounding system is also connected to your DC negative system, you've grounded that to the water as well, at which point you don't have an isolated DC system. So, so the answer is uh, no, it's not isolated. Uh, and if they want it to be isolated, they've got to break that connection between them lightning ground system. Do we want to get into that a little bit? Well, why not? I mean, what um, typically, the, typically is grounded when you have a metal boat, especially aluminum, right? Uh, that are uh, isolated. Yes, That's the, yeah. uh, and there's some misconceptions there that by isolating it, you, you minimize the chances of corrosion. And that's not necessarily the case. Uh, you can have a grounded boat that's also well protected against corrosion. Uh, and um, with the grounded boat, you, you've got additional protection with the uh, AC system from shock hazards and, and other issues. So, so there are good reasons for grounding a boat. And in fact, the ABYC for decades has, has uh, not liked the idea of isolated mm -hmm. ground systems, although right now we're revising the standard to put language in there to incorporate them. Um, the ISO had uh, also traditionally, I think they had the option for uh, Yes, for, uh, they, they've always allowed isolated mm -hmm. systems. Um, but if you do an isolated ground system, then you need to make sure it's isolated. And very few of those systems have any kind of way of checking that. Mm -hmm. um, you, need a, you need a particular piece of kit to check the isolation. And uh, without that, half the time they're, they're grounded unintentionally and not necessarily safely. Mm. Um, so they have to be very carefully installed and, and the people that are doing it need to understand what they're doing. And then over time, the boat owners, when they modify the boat, need to make sure that they don't end up accidentally voiding the vice isolation of the system. Yeah. Yeah. So what would be your suggestion to um, our... Uh... Well, if they want to maintain the isolation, if it really is isolated, they're going to need to disconnect the lightning system from the DC system. Um, but it may be better just to review all the electrical systems on the boat and see whether that's, that's a requirement and whether that's the best way to do it. Yeah. All right. Well... We do have quite a lot of lessons and modules on grounding AC DC systems in our advanced marine electrics course. So if you want to go into the details of this and actually yeah, make your own informed decision whether you want to have a grounded or floating system, check out our courses on marine electrics at Boat How To.